Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to protect route and why we need to protect route. Here, you can see user1 and user1 request the user's info using the ID and it passed the token. Okay, so after that one, backend send the response with the data. Okay, in that data, we have user's information. If the user1 again requests user info, but it send the user2's ID, not his ID, the user2's, that means someone else, then it returns the data of user 2 it is really a bad thing if that happened we have to protect the information from each others not only from hackers okay so that's why we need to add router protection now what is the solution i think you may already guessed it we have to add a middleware if you don't know how middleware works i have a separate video for that one i think it's just five minutes please go and watch it here i have added a middleware so here when user send the user id and the token it checks whether the user id and the token id are the same if it is true the functionality works okay in the second use case here it send the user id to but token id is different so it says unauthorized access let's see how auth middleware works in the code before i explain the code please subscribe to my channel 90 percent of you haven't subscribed yet i don't know why i want to give you free and high quality content as much as possible people who already subscribed thank you very much okay let's get to coding i am passing a function to async middleware if you don't know how async middleware works please go and watch the video i will add it in the top right corner in the async middleware we get authorization from request headers okay so after i got this authorization we check it is undefined or not if it is there we check it is start with bearer word okay this is what it looks like so normally when we pass the token we pass it like this we don't pass it as a string we just paste the token but this is how we receive it in the back end. i added it to show you don't pass tokens like this okay you can see the prefix here same okay so first we check whether this starts with bearer if it is true only we go to this part okay now we separate the token from authorization to do that i'm splitting the string using the space that means when we split using the space first item will be bearer the second item will be the token okay so here i separate the token now i'm gonna decode the token using jwt verify i didn't import the jwt from jwt with token i imported it with the custom one that i have created in the last video so here we have generate and verify using this i'm gonna verify verify the token okay now we decoded the token after we decoded the token the token has the id i am passing that id to user dot find by so in this way i'm gonna get the user's data without the password i filter it here i get the user if user is there i attach it to the request request dot user equal user then i go to the next middleware if user isn't there we throw an error telling invalid token if authorization is failed we'll send an error telling no token is available okay so this is how auth middleware works let's go to the routes here i add the auth middleware first before the controller so in this way before running this part this auth middleware must be successfully completed okay in get user info function we get the user from the request we get the id from the params and then we check whether the user id and the params id are the same make sure you convert the user id to a string otherwise this logic will throw an error if these aren't equal we throw an error saying invalid user if there isn't an error we get the user info from the database and send it to the front end. okay this is how it works let's test that first you have to go to the login part you don't have to send a token here i added it to explain you let's send it now you get the token copy this token then go to a new request and we change it change the token and send it now you can see i get users data okay here i'm gonna copy user one's id and paste it in here and send it now you can see i get unauthorized invalid user you see now our route is protected that means i cannot get your information you cannot get my information we are protected from each other that's why we need this auth middleware also we only used it in here we will use it in several places as well in the next video i will add cloud functionalities to work with to do's the important part is we will connect to do's with users according to the user we save to do's and delete to do's and everything okay so make sure you watch the next video and have a nice day